kids. They've gone. What we need is a boat. Oh! It's a fair lead. And there he was, this monk dressed all in black. What was that? There he is! Oh. What was that? There's that fox again. There was definitely a shotgun we heard. They'd be lying dead somewhere. He didn't know who we were. I knew Prince was going to save you, didn't I tell you? Will someone take this crate of chickens? Who was that then? PC Cooper. He wants to come round and speak to you. I didn't know water could be so heavy. Have we run out of that length of paleo you found? Oh, ages ago. How's the food supply coming along? Well, there's plenty of dried fish, but they won't last long. When do you think we'll be ready, Thaddeus? Oh, pretty soon. All I gotta do now is fix up the boom, rig up a sail, knock up a shelter. I can't wait to get away. So that you can sell your story. No, how to get back to civilization and other people. No offense. We'll be sailing into the unknown, into danger. If you want to change your mind, I'll understand. What? Listen, if you want to chicken out, just say so, but don't go laying it on me, right? I was only thinking of you. I've only got your word for that. What makes you think it was me, Shooty? Never you mind. What were you doing firing off guns in the middle of the night? A couple of gypsies. Stole a crate of chickens I got ready for the market. Gypsies, eh? Well, could have been. And what would have happened if you'd hit one? They wouldn't have done it again, would they? No, and I'd have nicked you for causing grievous bodily harm. What? Protecting my own property? I'd have had to. Well, never mind about that now. Have you heard from those kids yet? No. No, well, like I told you, they've gone off camping. You don't expect them to be phoning up every five minutes, do you? Oh, Henry, stop it. I've, I've had enough of all this lying. Fact of the matter is, Constable. They've run off. Well, when my wife says run off, what she really means is... That... They've run away. I see. And when exactly was this? It must have been during the night of the 14th or the early hours of the 15th. In other words, you just don't know, do you? No. Look, Constable, there's no need to blow this up out of proportion. I mean children, they, they often run off, don't they? It's just a bit of fun, as far as they're concerned. Fun? Don't you know what's going on in the world out there? Don't you read the newspapers? Those kids, supposedly in your care, are at risk. And I, for one, intend on doing something about it. Right now. You can come with me. I'm sorry, Henry. It's been going on long enough. Don't worry, we'll catch you later. What's that?
Chopper, quick, hide! What's that? Searching for us. Let's hope they didn't see us. Did they see you? I hope not. I've never been up in one of those Ella Chopper things before. Matter of fact, I've never been up in an airplane before, neither. Still, I don't suppose they'll see nothing. It goes too fast. Oh, for goodness sake, Luke, they can slow down and stop if they want to. Just like a hawk. <laughs> Oh, I never seen him do nothing like that before. Now, it's Henry. I got you back in one piece, then. Enjoyed the trip? Well, never mind about that. Have you seen the local paper? So that's why they wanted that photo of Jack. What do you think they wanted it for, you silly old fool? Henry! Well... Oh, so that's the way of it, is it? If I were you, I'd watch my tongue. Don't forget you've got to go on living around here. Any scandal and it sticks for years. What's that supposed to mean? There's the copper. I'm off. Go on, Gil. Any news, Constable? Of the children? I'm afraid not. However, after I dropped your husband off, I met up with my sergeant. Oh, yes. Very inquisitive man is Sergeant Taylor. Why don't you come to the point, Constable? Well, the way he sees it's this. Your brother, Thaddeus Arnold, disappears at sea, presumed drowned. The old nanny looking after the kids dies, and so, being their auntie, you take them in. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? On the contrary, highly commendable. But it seems that your brother had a great deal of money, ma'am. All of which will go to those kids. Yes. And being their guardian, you have access to that money. Yes, to use on their behalf. Like buying Luke's farm. Well, personally, I'd have thought that was a pretty good investment. Oh, I don't doubt that you're right, sir. But my sergeant, and you must remember, he does have a fanciful imagination. He was saying if those kids were to disappear forever, and being the next of kin, you'd inherit all that money, wouldn't you, Mum? What? You couldn't possibly think that. Here, Constable, if you're suggesting that... Me suggest something like that? Good gracious, no. All the same. I'm sure you'll agree with me. The sooner those kids are back here under your safe and loving care, the better for all of us, eh? It's all right. Well, if we do decide to build our own house, it has to be somewhere really secret. I don't see why we can't live in those caves we found. We can. They'll be great for the winter. We need somewhere secret, otherwise we'll be found. Where are we going to build this house? Is this where we're going to build it? I don't know. Somewhere around here. Is this secret enough? Jack, it's perfect. It's a bit dusty, though. After you. I found it the other day when I was searching for wood. Just a little bit of elbow grease and it'll be fine. I wonder who used to live here. Well, whoever it was, it's long gone now. Are you sure there's nothing I can do? What do you know about boats, Charlie? Or about catching fish? Pardon? Nothing, Thaddeus. Nothing at all. the ladder. Now 
we know what we've got and what we haven't got. What with this place and the caves, we could live on this island forever. Oh, no, I wouldn't want that. But, Laura, we came to this place so we could escape from the farm and live our own lives. Yes, but not forever. Anyway, we won't have to. The other night I had a dream, and it was about Christmas, and we were at home and Daddy was there. That was just wishful thinking, Laura. It wasn't. I know it wasn't. What does it mean, Henry? Missing. Well, uh... Have you been holding out on me? About those kids? Holding out? Lying, Henry. No, no. You signed an exclusive contract for them? And you don't know where they are? No, but, uh, I could tell you my side of the story, if you like. No way. No. While you are under suspicion, we ain't gonna have nothing to do with you. Very. But, but... Unless, of course, those kids show up. In which case, we still have them under an exclusive contract. I suppose, being an only child, I must have been spoiled rotten. The only thing I didn't get was a brother. I'd have liked a brother. Well, all I can say is that my sister hated having a brother. <laughs> but then I was an awful show-off. It's only now that I've grown up that I realize what a pretty rotten time Harriet must have had. I suppose that's why she married the first chap who came along. And he wasn't a very good choice. You ever thought about marriage? No. No, not really. Too busy charging off around the world with my camera. Anyway, most of the men I know would want to chain me to the kitchen stove. No more seafood dinners on deserted islands, then? No. Fancy seeing you here, Jack. Tom, what are you doing on the island? Just trying to catch a few rabbits. But you, your friends, and their dog have scared them all away. Sorry about the rabbits. Tell you what, we're going to have some eggs in a few days. Come by and we'll give you some. Thanks, I will. Oh, don't worry. I won't give you away. You'll never guess. What's so funny, Jack? I was half beginning to believe it. Believe what? The story about the mad monk still haunts the island. What? A mad monk? I knew something was watching me. And I kept hearing things. Hey, don't panic, you two. There's no mad monk. It's just a gypsy who comes here to catch rabbits. How do you know? Because we've just had a conversation. He won't be giving us away. You knew about this mad monk story all along, and you didn't tell us? It's just a story some villagers tell. I didn't want to worry you. Don't let go. Don't let go. One of these days, Sadie Arnold, I just might. What's the verdict? Looking good. If the weather holds fair, we'll sail with the tide. <laughs> Horrin, Charlie. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey, everyone, come and see what I've found. What is it? Look, more blackberries. We can have a real feast tonight. Great, but I'm the first one off to the lake to cool down. Hey, we haven't finished moving yet. Let her go, she'll only be a pain. That's all I need.
could find it. I wonder what's happened to Laura. She should have been back by now. Prince. What's happened? Oh, no. Laura! Prince! I thought you missed me. Are you all right, sis? No, my ankle hurts. Prince Cannon got us, so we knew something was up. Come on, let's get you back to the hut. I know just the thing to make you better. What's this you're putting on? Witch Hazel. It's just the stuff for sprains. We don't need a chemist with you around. You'll be as good as new by tomorrow. Laura, there's something different about you. Of course there is, idiot. I'm not wearing glasses, am I? What? But you can't see a thing without your glasses. I know. Even this close, you're a bit of a blur. Maybe it's not such a bad thing. Oh, shut up, Mike. This is serious. How would you like to be half blind? Laura, do you know exactly where you lost them? They were smashed, and I chucked them away. But I do have another pair. Why didn't you say so? Because they're at the farm. Well, we should put that thing away. You know what PC Cooper said? Oh, for heaven's sake, it's only to scare them. Well, accidents do happen. Yes. Well, this time I'm prepared. If they come sneaking back here like they did before, they're in for a bit of a shock. <laughs> in more ways than one. Just how much power have you used? Enough. <laughs> No sign of anyone yet, Sarge. I'll give it to midnight, then I'll pack it in. Roger, I'll leave it to it then. <sighs> that is. Mm-hmm. What sort of chance do you think we'll have? Out there on that dinghy. Yeah. Not a lot. Huh. Well, at least you're honest. Well, most women couldn't take the truth. But I feel I can treat you the same as I would any other chap. Thanks, that is. I'm going for a swim. Watch out for the sea snakes. They sometimes come ashore at night and they can be pretty deadly. Don't worry, I'll be careful. seems to be wired up to the alarm. That means they're expecting us. So what do we do now? Go under it, but be careful not to touch. Oh, 
hiding. You can't get away. I got a gun, you know. Got it. Henry? What is it? What is it? That must have set it off. I just remembered my glasses weren't in the drawer. They were in the wardrobe. So? I'm trying to let Piggy know. Well, it's cheaper than phoning. No! I wonder. Here they are. Glasses, huh? So I'm sure she will. Oh, Mike, I do miss Dad so. And I miss a warm bed and Nanny Bess reading us stories. I know it was all fun at first. But... Haven't you forgotten your dream? Daddy was coming back and we were all going to have a wonderful Christmas together. Yes, I did dream that, didn't I? Then let's go to the cave. No, it's spooky there. But it's warmer. Come on, you might feel better. It's just that. I'm really homesick, Mike. Well, cheer up, then. I don't know what made me look in the wardrobe of all places. Still, the main thing is, we'll soon be back on the island. I'm not so sure about that. What? The boat's gone. Jack, all right. 